everyone, welcome back to another GFX tutorial. Today I'll be doing the highly requested video on how to make a GFX using Blender 2.8. First of all, we're going to open up Roblox Studio and we're going to go up to plugins and you should have the low character plugin. If you don't already have this, you can go into the plugin search on the side, search for low character and the second option, it will be there. The link will also be in the description. Now we're going to go to load character and you're going to write in your username. So I'm going to write my username, but you can write whoever's username you want for who you want to be in the GFX. Now we're just going to go up to our character and once your character is ready to export, we're going to right click on their name over here. Right click and scroll down to export selection. Now you can just save this to wherever you want on your laptop. Now that it's saved, we can find a room model. I already have lots of room models saved. I just search for an aesthetic bedroom and I'm gonna use this one right here. Just like that. Now that you have your room model, you're gonna export it the same way you did with your character. Scroll down to export selection and save it. Now we're going to open up our woman rig. If you don't already have this, the link will be in the description. Once you've loaded into Blender, you should have a grey character. What you're going to do first is delete the head. Use delete, X, enter to delete. Now you should have a grey body with no head. Click on any of the body parts, I'm doing the torso, and go up to where my mouse is. Click Shader Editor. Now you can drag it out so you can see everything, and you're going to go down to the orange one that says Texture. Not the top one, the one below. Find your texture of your character and open it. I'm just going to move that back across so there's more space. We're going to go up to File, Import, Wavefront. Find your character and go to where my mouse is. It says Geometry. Click on the arrow beside it and tick the box that says Split by Group. Your character should now be loaded in. I'm going to go up to the rotate tool and rotate it 180 degrees. I'm also going to move it forward and delete all the body parts except for the head. I'm going to select all the parts of my head and then just drag it over to the body. Now we're going to go up to file, import, wavefront, and import your room model the same as we did with our character. Our room model has now loaded in, so let's pose our character. When you want to pose your character, make sure you change object mode to pose mode. This will allow you to bend the look. My character is all set up, so what we're going to do is go to Add, Camera, click View, go to Cameras, and then click Active Camera. You will now be in your camera. To move your camera into position, you can use the locators on the side. Thank you. 
Now we're going to add in some light because we don't want the GFX to be dark. To add a light, click Add, Light, and then you can pick from any of these lamp choices. I'm using the Sun option. You can also check out my lighting video if you'd like to know about the different lighting choices. As you can see here, I'm just moving my light around and rotating it. If you would like to adjust the colour or the strength of your light, you can go to the side. I prefer checking this when you're in rendered mode because it's a lot easier to see what the final product's going to look like. And then you can just adjust the brightness and also the colour too. When our GFX is rendered, we don't want grain. To get rid of this, we need to go to the fourth icon down, scroll to the bottom and tick denoising. At the moment, if we render it, the head will be transparent. So what we're going to do now is select the head, go up to the camera icon on the side and change the Cycles Render Engine to EV. Now that we're ready to render, go into your camera and make sure you're happy with it. Then you can go up to the top and click render. Once your render is finished, go up to render, save as, save as image.